Previously on the bill. It's okay. Uh, do you not know right? I should go. Don't you dare walk away. I gave Gabriel up for adoption. I've moved on. I've closed the book now. But he's back in your life now. Life without you is no life at all. Stand back, yeah? Out of the way, please. Out of the way. Out, mate. No, back, What's, What's your name, mate? Dan. Okay, Dan, don't move. Ambulance on its way, yeah? You can tell me what happened. This lad, the white kid, ran off that way. Did you know him? Dan? Sort of. I dealt with some assaults carried out by kids around here the other week that are pretty similar. What, the gay bashings? Dan didn't say anything about being gay. Taylor says I'm right. Bet your gay are working. Very good. I can pick him straight away. Don't worry, I know you're straight, judging by the smile on Honey's face. So it's true then. Haven't you got criminals to catch or something? Get in. I met the lad who attacked me last night in a club. What kind of club? What's that got to do with it? Well, was it a rave? Was it a disco? Might he have been taking drugs? It was a gay club, all right? Did he tell you his name? No. I thought he was coming on to me. He seemed a bit shy. I was enjoying the attention, so I went along with it. And where did it lead? Nowhere. He legged it. He must have lost his nerve. It happens with these kids. When he ran off, where did he go? Out of the club. I went after him to tell him it was OK. And I guess I didn't want to admit defeat. I caught up with him, but he wasn't interested. He ran off into the night. And you saw him again this morning? Yeah, I live round the corner from the estate. I was walking past, and there he was with his mates. I wanted to know what had happened the night before, so I went over. Big mistake. It looked like he'd seen a ghost. When I talked to him, his mates started shouting abuse. Queer, poof, all the usual. And suddenly the kid went mad. Punching, kicking, yelling. I thought he was gonna kill me. Did the others join in? No, they ran off. You didn't say anything that might have provoked this attack? All I did was ask what had happened the night before. Thanks, Mr. Wilcox. We'll need you to come in to look at some photos of possible suspects when you're up to it. Sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. One last thing. What was the club called? Um, I'm not sure of the name. Some place on Rudkin Road. The Red Shoes, yeah? You know it? Yeah. Wicked soul night on Thursdays. So you reckon it's a queer bashing? Yes, Sarge. And how's that different from any other kind of bashing? Well, Sarge, it's a hate crime motivated by... Yes, crime. OK, I know. I'm just not sure you're right, that's all. I mean, if this lad is an anti-gay vigilante, what's he doing in a gay club? Good place to find a target. All right, what about the other witnesses? What have they said? PC Tate's rung them. They'll prepare to make statements. Good. In the meantime, uh, get to the club. See if they've got any CCTV. Sarge. Hate crime. Have you ever heard of a hate crime? you ever heard of a love crime? Sorry, Sarge. Just get on with it. I bet he's a big softy underneath all that. I don't even reckon he's got an underneath. Lance. Congratulations. Sir. You're the new face of Sunhill. Sir. There's a journalist coming in from one of the national newspapers. He's doing a day in the life sort of thing. He wants to interview someone I see as a model young officer. And? And I'm giving him you. Yeah, yeah, I remember the kid. Um, quite tall, sweaty, wearing a nasty green top and a silly little baseball cap. You had a good look at him? Quiet night, was it? No. I 
tend to notice people who are flirting with my boyfriend. Dan Wilcox? Yeah. What's going on? Are you aware that Dan was assaulted this morning? He what? Is, is he OK? What happened? He's pretty knocked around, but he'll live. Do you have any CCTV in the club? Yeah, yeah, in the um, lobby and over the door. Uh, Andy, can you get the tape from last night? I feel awful. It should never have happened. This looks like it was a homophobic attack. I thought you'd arrested whoever was doing those. No one's been charged. Maybe this time they will be. Right, let's see if this Wilcox is telling the truth. There. I'm sure he looks familiar. Good. Get a clear image and get some printed off, all right? Sarge. Sheila? Sarge. I heard there's been another homophobic attack. Yeah, I'm just looking at the suspect now. I know that lad from somewhere. Oh, no. No. That's Connor, isn't it? That's your son. Is this something to do with that Bobby Abinson thug? Doesn't look like it. My son wouldn't do that. There must be some other explanation. And what about the false alibi he provided for Bobby Abinson? Is there some other explanation for that too? What's the charge? Probably GBH. Lance. Please don't ask me to do anything that I can't do. OK. But is there any way you could keep it quiet? I'll try. So how did you ID this Connor? An informant. No wonder the super wants to make you our new poster boy. Oh, does everyone know about that already? Ah, there's someone out front asking for you about a witness statement. Uh, they'll have to wait. We're going to nick this suspect. Uh, I could take a statement for you, Cameron, if you're busy. Thanks, Sheila. You're a star. So, what do you got for me? Right. A uh, Brenda Kelman. She was a prostitute on Clyde's side. She moved down south about ten years ago. She was raped in 1989 after meeting with a group of clients in a hotel room. And you think this might be our man? Well, it's the same MO. I mean, a bit more primitive, but all the hallmarks are there. Definite traits of a retaliation rape, and there are links to the Navy. Military training, just like our guy. I think it's one of our suspect's earliest attacks, if not his first. This could be a big breakthrough for us, if I'm right. Yeah, let's not jump to any wild conclusions. We need to establish if it's the same man first. I take it there was no arrest? There wasn't even a proper investigation. She was a prostitute crying rape. It's a new smoking area, I'm afraid. Who were you with in the Camberton Hotel? Navy boys from the base up there, Strath Nordham. How many were there? Six. Was one of them the man who raped you? Maybe. There was one guy, wee fella, couldn't get himself going. Know what I mean? Other guys were all having a laugh, but he didn't seem to think it was funny. Seems to think it's my fault. Well, his mates weren't having any trouble, you know. So that's it, he loses a rag party over. And the rape? It happened after that? Just up the way. I was walking home. Came from behind out of nowhere. Grabs me here and he's all ripping at my clothes and rough, you know. Did he have a knife? No need. He's using his fists. Keep saying something about me deserving it. You know, I've had rough clients in my time, but this guy's mental. So, so he raped me. <clears throat> Did you see his face? It was dark. I was terrified. But I remember thinking, is that him from the hotel? <laughs> Something. Voice, maybe. What was his accent? Southern, like us. 
The um, men in the hotel room, what were their names? Mm, it's just Greg. He was a regular. He booked it. Do you think it was him? <laughs> nah. Had I known. OK. What was Greg's surname? <laughs> Sweetheart, in my game, we don't do surnames, just Greg. I think the press dragged him down, though. Was this journalist writing about your case? Some girl from the local rag, thinking she was saving the world. <laughs> Pathetic. Did he talk to her? What do you think? Did she publish his name? Yeah, I bet that went down well at home, eh? Gabriel, I need you to go through all these press cuttings. I'm looking for an interview with Brenda Kelman, OK? Sarge. Sarge, I'm not busy if you want any help in here. Well, thank you, Kerry, but uh, I'm, I'm all staffed up right now. Gabriel, I'll do this for you if you want. No, you're right. I'll deal with it in a bit, OK? Please, Sarge, I really want to help. Look, I don't mind doing the donkey work. I've got a very good team here, Kerry. I'm a lot better informed on this investigation than some of the officers. Anyone in particular? I was so it officer to two of the victims, Khadija and Nina. I know what happened and I know how this guy operates. Did you speak to Sergeant Smith? No, I thought... She can take over for me if you like, Sarge. Is that OK with you? Oh, absolutely. She's right. She's far more qualified for this than I am. I mean, rape's your speciality, isn't it, Kerry? Oh, and thanks for coming by the other week. I had a laugh. You're a dark horse. Yeah. What can I do? Uh, well, Gabriel's going to go through some press cuttings. Oh, don't worry, Sarge, I'm on it. Well, make sure you are. I'm looking for a Greg someone. I need his full name. Right, well, there's case files going back 15 years over here. To know where you are, Connor. I've got this one, Cam. You ain't SO19, right, Sarge? Yeah, why? Why'd you leave? I mean, it must be pretty dull here by comparison. You think so? Well, maybe you need to spend a bit more time out on the streets and a bit less time sitting at home watching the telly. I'm just saying. Uh, Cameron, I want you to go back down to the coal lane estate. Now, I know you made an arrest for that assault, but word gets about and a high profile can't hurt. And I want you to take Billy the kid here. Sarge, let's go, cowboy. Yep, B I A. Cameron, I've got that witness statement for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Can you give it to Lance? Please, I don't want to see my mum. You're all right. Sheila, please. Connor, are you okay? Connor, please. Sheila, this ain't the time. Look, he doesn't hang around with that crowd anymore. He told me. Isn't that right? Back off, Sheila. Yeah. You're gonna make it worse for him. Excuse me. Come on. I don't know the place. I've never been there. That's not what Dan Wilcox says. Hey? For the tape, Diaz Hunter has shown the suspect a printout from the CCTV camera inside the Red Shoes nightclub. Nice act. Do you know what kind of club the Red Shoes is, Connor? No. What's that got to do with anything? Now, seeing as you look so good on camera, we were just wondering if we could take a few more photos. You know, show them to some of our witnesses. That OK with you? Mr. Boss? No, all the cars are out and Smithy's asked me to go and get a witness statement for Lance. Come on, I'll give you a lift as long as it's not too far. Oh, thanks, Jim. Have you found that article yet, Andrea? No, Sarge.